Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer for Thursday, March the 4th. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. The joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. Praise to you, O Christ. O come, let us worship him. Lord Jesus, stay with us for the evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our constant companion on the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope among us that we may recognize you as you are revealed in the scriptures and in the breaking of the bread. Grant this for your name's sake. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my pleas for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart exalts, and with my song I give thanks to him. The Lord is the strength of his people. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. O save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. The New Testament reading tonight is from Mark chapter 7, the account of the Syrophoenician woman's faith. And from there he arose and went away to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And he entered a house and did not want anyone to know, yet could not be hidden. But immediately a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. And he said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, Yes, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. And he said to her, For this statement you may go on your way. The demon has left your daughter. And she went home and found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. Then he returned from the region of Tyre and went through Sidon to the Sea of Galilee in the re region of the Decapolis. And they brought to him a man who was deaf and had a speech impediment, and they begged him to lay his hand on them. And taking him aside from the crowd privately, he put his fingers into his ears and after spitting touched his tongue. And looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ephaphtha, that is, be opened. And his ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. And Jesus charged them to tell no one. But the more he charged them, the more zealously they proclaimed it. And they were astonished beyond measure, saying, He has done all things well. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. Our reading with the Church Fathers this evening is from St. Basil the Great. This one is called Titles of the Holy Spirit. He saved us not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. Titus 3.5 The titles given to the Holy Spirit stir the soul of anyone who hears them and make him realize that they speak of the Supreme Being. We call him the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Truth who proceeds from the Father, the Steadfast Spirit, the Guiding Spirit. But his first and most appropriate title is the Holy Spirit. All creatures depend on the Spirit for their sanctification. The Spirit is the source of holiness, a spiritual light, and he enlightens every mind to help it search for the truth. The power of the Spirit fills the whole universe, but acts in each person according to the measure of their faith. Though shared by many, he remains unchanged. His self-giving is no loss to himself. The Spirit is like the sunshine, which permeates the whole atmosphere and spreads over land and sea, and is enjoyed by each person as if it were shining for him alone. Likewise, the Spirit pours out his grace with full power, sufficient for everyone at the same time, while each individual is blessed by his fullness. The Spirit raises our hearts to heaven, guides the steps of the weak, and brings to perfection those who are making progress. He brings knowledge of Christ to the saved and makes them spiritual by communion with himself. From the Spirit come foreknowledge of the future, understanding of the mysteries of faith, insight into the hidden meaning of Scripture and other special gifts. Through the Spirit we become citizens of heaven, enter into eternal happiness, and abide in God. Through the Spirit we acquire a likeness to God. Join in the Apostles' Creed in the Lord's Prayer. 
I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. As always, on Thursdays, we focus on means of grace, particularly the Lord's Supper. O Lord Jesus Christ, true King of heaven and earth, you promised to your church that the gates of hell would not prevail against her, and you still cause your word to be preached and your holy sacraments to be administered among us. But ah, O Lord, the sins of your people obscure the majesty of your bride. Your holy vineyard is trampled, and your blessed sacrifice stands neglected. Many think themselves strong and despise the life-giving food that you have ordained for your people, for the forgiveness of their sins. Pardon all our arrogance, and do not come to us in wrath to remove the lamp of your word from before our eyes. O Lord, we pray you, visit this vine which you once established for yourself, and renew us with the sun of your mercy and the water of eternal life. Give us a great hunger for the food of your true body and blood, and let all your faithful people ever be found in the Apostles' doctrine, in the fellowship, in the breaking of your bread, and in the prayers. We implore you, O Lord, for our altar, that it may ever be a place where the medicine of eternal life, the forgiveness of our sins, strengthens us in body and soul, that disbelief and impenitence may stay far from all who come there, so that they may not eat and drink to their own judgment. O eternal High Priest, that the fruit of your Spirit grow in us, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faith, gentleness, and chastity. Cause us to live in holy conduct toward one another to the glory of your holy name, here in time and hereafter in eternity where you live and reign with the Father and the same Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, let your merciful ears be open to the prayers of your humble servants, and grant that what they ask may be in accord with your gracious will. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day, and I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Have a blessed night.